Hello there, it's me and Robson again. This is a quickie. Um, a very, very quickie. It's just using some of these. Um, now, it's about uh, using contact sheets. All right? Now, if you don't know what that is, you probably don't need it. But if you've ever had to try and get approval uh, on stuff, sometimes you may have to um, present a number of uh, renders or comps or the series of passes that you have, uh, things like that. So what I'm going to do is just quickly he says select some of these not all of these passes because it would take too long and there's not really a whole lot of point and I'll do like that and I'll just drag all these in all right so we've got all these things here all right hit L move this lot stuff along now how many of these have we got three six nine yeah, there's a fair old few. Right, what I want to do is go into my contact sheet, which you create by going to there and typing in contact sheet. You can tell what resolution you've got. I'm just going to put, um, I'm going to guess 6x6. Six six. And I'm going to go from the bottom, right, top to the bottom, left to right. And that'll be the order it arranges them in. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in here and just go ba boing, ba boing, ba boing. It would help if it actually went where it's supposed to. Sometimes the mouse doesn't work. I've just been rendering um, another version of this yellow scene out for something else. So if I look in there, you can see now it's got these all along here, right now. What I can, if I tell you what, I'll we leave using the gap until we've done the rest. So I see it's quite a short video of this one because uh, it's not complex, but it's a good way of presenting things. It doesn't have to be things out of Nuke. You could drag in, say you had um, five ultimate lighting schemes for a shot or a room or for a product, and you could put them all into a contact sheet like this, and then you know where you're at, right? And it's easy for the client to locate, you know, what they want. And they could say, right, well, I like, say, that render there. Now, there's too many of these bloody things now. Let's see if I can just organize them out a bit. Uh, yeah, I'll just go to four and five. So we have all these here. Each one of these um, has its own alpha channel, which is shuffling in from there, which is a bit rubbish to be honest but it will do now we can add gaps between them so if i put 50 it would make them really big gaps between all right now it's as simple as that that's basically it. you can use uh, the frames instead of inputs and have say every so many frames or a frame range of say from 0 to 25 if it, you know if you've got a, a very fast introduction it was shot and there's a lot going on yeah so contact sheets, really useful. It's as simple as that, really short video, but I know some of you will find that um, handy. There's all sorts of things like that hidden away in Nuke, uh, if you take a look. It's always worth having a look. Okay, bye-bye.